Welcome viewers. Thanks for joining me today as we talk about my latest update on recovery from my labiaplasty with John Stranix at UVA Plastic Surgery. So, um, it's been about four months since I had surgery on May the 31st. Today's the 24th of October and about two months ago, say eight weeks more precisely, um, when I was really going through it as I was in so much pain since it seemed like um, everything that had been pleaded up to make a labia minora was um, not doing so well and um, kept shrinking into oblivion. Um, the chief nurse at um, gender surgery, Diana, and the, um, the manager of the department decided I should be sent to pain management. Um, and I guess that was also approved by the doctor, um, Dr. Stranix. Uh, they did an urgent transfer. The urgent transfer resulted in me waiting eight weeks for an appointment. And um, so I had the appointment this morning and told them about my issues. Um, I had I actually neglected to tell them about my chest pain, so I just sent them an email about that. But I told them all about all the labial pain, labia pain, um, the difficulty with crossing my legs, having sex, um, wearing underwear, uh, what has worked to manage pain and what has not. Um, all the numbness problems, the lack of sensation problems, and um, and I had mentioned all of this to Diana previously because I thought you know pain management isn't my really big problem. The big problem is just the destruction of the nerves, and she said this would be a step towards working on that. Um, that turns out to be not true at all. There's nothing they can do um, for my nerve function as I feared originally. Um, I kind of think she was just trying to put me off because I was so annoying. But, um, I don't know. And they've never seen a case like me before. I am the first case they have ever seen where I have this situation and they don't really know what to do. Um, they were, they're going to try to give me a topical um, lidocaine which I actually think I'm allergic to because I tried to do that for my um, facial electrolysis and it actually made everything worse. I have pretty sensitive skin and it caused um, a lot of inflammation and actually the electrolysis itself was not nearly as bad as just the inflammation from the lidocaine. So I'll, I'll try it out on a spot and see how it goes but I'm not hopeful based on that experience. And um, there's another drug they could potentially try later on. They have a follow-up with me in three months, um, which is in the end of January. And I also got a referral to um, a pain psychologist. And the pain psychologist is um, also booked up and I won't be able to see her until actually the beginning of February. So I don't really know what to do about that. Um, they're going to put me on um, a list in case there are cancellations and I can come sooner. But uh, I don't know. Um, it's certainly not helping my hopelessness at all. Um, I guess at this point I'm just trying to grin and bear it. Well, not even grin, just sit here. I'm just sitting here and trying to hold myself together. Um, it's not easy. At least I'm looking forward to um, my trip coming up to go to California. Thanks to my friend who's going to give me a car. Um, and I will be able to pick that up and bring it back. And my 
aunt who loaned me the money to go get it or gave me the money to go get it. Um, you know, even if all the doctors and UVA has been incredibly unhelpful, at least there have been a lot of other people who want to help. And I appreciate their wanting to help and I appreciate the help they can give me, um, which is wonderful. I just wish they could they could help fix me because I'm still so broken. Um, and I'm getting to the point where I feel like this is just going to be a hopeless situation for the rest of my life. And I hope the rest of my life is rather short. But um, we'll see. I don't know what else to do. I'm all out of options. Well, anyway, on the plus side, at least the increasing Cymbalta may help with the pain some more. And the meditation continues to help with the pain, um, which I still do more than one time a day. Um, so I hope you have a much better experience with the medical profession. You know, until this surgery, I was having a pretty good experience with the medical profession all through transition until I got to Dr. Stranix and then everything just, I saw, I'm seeing the dark side of medicine. And um, sending out lots of love and healing energy to you. You may be well and happy and whole and loving the body you have. I love you. Aloha.